Okay, so on this side here, we have a testes and epididymis and spermatic cord still in the vaginal tunic. In large animals, we often do a closed castration where we do not open up that vaginal tunic. And we have a pair of what kind of look like pliers, but they have a crushing end towards the body and a cutting end towards the testis. They're called the emasculinators to cut and the side that's crushing is going to cauterize these vessels. Okay. Now something very handy about that instrument is that the nut that is at the pivot point, the nut faces the nut. So you can easily line it up knowing that you're going to be cutting the right side and crushing the right side. Okay. So that's closed castration. In small animals, we generally do an open castration where we cut open that vaginal tunic so that we can isolate the ductus deferens and the testicular vessels. And generally, with dogs, we'll ligate both of these and cut. In cats, sometimes I've seen them where they have cut it and then tied the two ends together. Okay. Something I want to show you on this specimen, which is rather nice, is that here we've got the, the external pudendal artery coming out here. It's going to generally come out caudal to the spermatic cord through the inguinal canal, along with the genital femoral nerve. And it comes back up here. We see a lymph node right here. This is the superficial inguinal lymph node. And then it's going to give a caudal branch and then as it continues cranial, this is then the, the caudal superficial epigastric artery. Okay? 